So in today's video, we're going to talk about photography and why it's so important to have professional photography done on your property when you go to put it on the market for sale. And today I have Chad Spencer with me. He owns CMS Photography in the Sarasota area and he does most of the listings that I take and he does an excellent job at producing great quality photographs, drone video, and walkthrough video. So if that's of interest, stick around. I have all the information coming right up. Hello, it's Mark Bamig with Michael Saunders and Company. And in this channel, Selling in Lakewood Ranch, we cover all the tactics for getting your house market ready, get it on the market, and get it sold for the highest price in the shortest amount of time with the least amount of stress. So today's topic, we're going to cover how to do proper photography to make your house shine the best. And I was at a recent listing with um, my photographer, Chad Spencer from CMS Photography. So I did a little bit of video with Chad and I wanted to bring him in so he could give us a, a perspective from the professional side about why video and why photography is so important when we go to list your property. So let me bring in Chad Spencer from CMS Photography. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you today? Excellent. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. So what I'd like to do is maybe just go over a few of the basic points about um, getting uh, someone's house ready. But in the beginning, if you could just give us an idea of how you got started in the photography business for real estate. Well, uh, I've really uh, I've been into photography since high school. Um, I had a, a really excellent teacher there who really encouraged me. So then um, I went on to uh, the Southeast Center of Photography in Daytona Beach and um, got a degree in photography. Uh, from there, uh, my first professional job in 1996 was working for the PGA Tour. And then uh, I found a, uh, a job back in uh, Bradenton. Uh, now I'm originally from Sarasota, so I got to kind of move back to the other coast, still in the golfing industry, uh, but for a, a private company. Um, and then in 2001, uh, I just started uh, CMS Photography. I know you have a pretty good team because it's um, you and several other photographers on your team, and we've used you quite a bit. So it's been a it's been a real good uh, ride so far, and I really appreciate the fine photography that you all provide. Let me ask you something else. What type of equipment do you use? Do you have special equipment? Is it something different maybe for the real estate market, or or can you just tell me a little bit about what it is that you use? I myself, uh, I, I think as long as you stick with the, uh, you know, one of the top uh, three brands, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, I particularly fond of uh, Canon cameras. Uh, I use their top of the line. I have a, the EOS R5. I think, uh, I think you're, you know, if you, if your photographer has a Nikon, you know, you don't kick them out of the house. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, I. I, I lean towards the the Canon equipment, uh, and and really um, also uh, in this uh, industry the the wide angle lens is going to be the way you want to go to to shoot the inside of homes. But there's an array of so many different kinds, and uh, you really uh, you need to have uh, the best of uh, the ones that you know don't distort the the walls and don't bend. Um, I think a big thing in photography is having nice straight vertical lines. Um, and, and so that, that really comes down to the equipment and how you use it, but, uh, having the, you know, the nicer, uh, the nicer stuff. So what are the best ways that a seller can prepare their house for, for having the photos taken? What do you like to see before you get there? Well, Mark, this is an excellent question. And actually what we do is, uh, we send out a, a checklist to each of our agents beforehand so that they can share that with their homeowners. So nobody's caught off guard. Um, typically photo shoots range, you know, uh, from 45 minutes to an, uh, two hours, depending on what services we do, but uh, that can double or triple if we've got to, you know, prep the house when we get there. So having the house ready is huge. Uh, that helps everybody having the lights turned on, depersonalize you know uh, so many times people will do everything and then they'll still be on the you know all the magnets on the refrigerator you got to take those off um, 
you know, all the appliances, there'll be two coffee makers on the countertop. You know, you just need to look at that and say, okay, we, we just need the one. When you go into the bathrooms, having all of your personal stuff on top of there, that is, you know, yeah, that's the first thing people are going to see. Toilet lids need to be down. Um, we like uh, the, the vertical shades open uh, so that you can see what's going on outside. Um, mm -hmm. Now, that is a, a big thing. Now, do you just tilt them open or do you raise them all the way to the top? The, the, the problem is when you raise them all the way to the top, usually you get a bulk uh, of, the, of that. And so we typically just tilt them open and we think that's a, a better look. Of course, you want to have all all the lights on in the home. And then when, when you get to outside, you know, this is typical. Um, the first thing I usually have to ask people is, can you move your cars out of the driveway? This is the, the first thing you want to do is, is move your car down the block so we don't uh, have that in the shot. The main thing uh, is clutter. Is if you can get reduce things, you know, I get people that are like, oh, you know, there's a smudge on the window. That's not going to show up as much as, you know, that you had things all across your kitchen countertop. Um, so really taking down the clutter, less is more for sure. So um, I know I know video is very popular. So how's the demand changed over the last couple of years uh, for video? And I'm sure that you're probably getting more uh, requests for that. It has. It, um, you know, it, it has now become a, an essential part of, of what we do. But I have found that the love for it and and the need for it. Um, the equipment's gotten better. Uh, mostly uh, now that uh, you know Canon and Nikon, Sony, uh, they all have uh, really made that part of their equipment. So we don't have to change cameras. Um, we do use uh, different lenses, lighter lighter weight ones, uh, because we're putting the cameras on handheld gimbals, and that's how you get that nice smooth look when people are walking through your homes. Uh, you got to have that sort of thing. And then the drone, it's essential uh, for your videos. Uh, they, you know, you get, you know, this 4K footage that is truly amazing. And to add that to your walkthrough videos, that's huge uh, that you can do both of those things. And, and I think people are digesting the information so much faster now so that putting a 60 second or, uh, or 120 second video together and people can get to see the whole property in that short of time uh, and just leave them wanting for more. And, and that's the idea is that you're getting them to watch that and like, ah, I need to go in and look at the still pictures and uh, investigate further, or, or this is the one we need to go see on Saturday, you know, with our, with our agent. What about lighting? Um, do you need extra lighting for your house? Some, some houses may be a little darker than the others. Um, can you tell me about that aspect of it? first part of my career probably for about 10 years that's exactly how we did it is we brought in studio lighting you know it, it turned these photo shoots into usually double the amount of time that they are now there is a new process that's called hdr and basically essentially what you do now instead of having to bring in all the lights uh, you have your camera on a tripod and you take multiple exposures and then there's software that merges all of the photos together uh, so that uh, when you're looking at a, a photo of an interior and the outside, you need to be able to see all the detail on the outside and all the detail on the inside and have it nice and bright and then not be distracted with the artificial studio lighting. So it's got a more natural feel to it. And, um, and you're still seeing all the details that are so important. One last question is, can you give us any extra tips or suggestions for homeowners to, to make their home actually shine? You know, it's all about uh, getting the buyers into the prospective properties. Uh, any tips that you can say as far as maybe inside or outside? Well, the main thing is listen to your realtor. Uh, if they say, hey, this would be better with an extra coat of paint, then do that before, you know, before photography. They're not just mentioning it. They're, they're subtly saying it. They don't want to hurt your feelings. But this, you know, that's the cheapest thing that you can do to, to change the, the look of, of your place. Uh, and I would suggest if, if, if you're even thinking that that's a problem, definitely paint uh, before the photo shoot. Um, pressure wash your driveway. Um, any of those things, uh, your, your, your back line, I mean, 
I would treat it like the in-laws were coming over for Christmas. Make it look nice. But if you can shoot on a nice sunny day, then that would that's ideal, especially when you're doing video. If you're going to do a video, I would wait. If uh, you know if the if the weather's not looking right, then push it off a day or two. And I think that would be worth it to do that rather than uh, shoot on a a gray day, especially for video. I want to thank Chad Spencer for being with us today from CMS Photography. He is, uh, he's my particular go-to photographer. Uh, If you've ever looked at any of my listings, you'll see the quality of work that he does, not only just in the uh, interior still photos, but in the drone photography, the videos that he puts together. So I want to thank Chad for joining us today. And if you get value out of these videos, just click that little subscribe button and ding that little bell. So every time I put on a new video about selling your property here in the Lakewood Ranch, you'll be notified. Mark Bamig, Michael Saunders and Company.